Hello, my name is uh, Hilario, I'm from Italy. I'm traveling around the world uh, now, it's been uh, three years. I brought here One Life, Live It. And I decided Vespa because Vespa for me is a kind of philosophy. It's not just a, a motorbike. My first time I entered in Iran and I was so interested to discover this country. From since March I am here, now it's six months I have been uh, in Iran and I don't know when I can go out of Iran. To be honest, this is my second uh, long travel. The first one was uh, in America 10 years ago with uh, another Vespa, old Vespa too. And uh, I traveled uh, all around the continent for uh, one year and a half. And so I decided, okay, I'll go back to Italy. I work a bit, I will save money and I will start again to travel around the world. And that's it. This is the reason I'm now I'm traveling around the world because anyway, I want to discover the world before uh, I die. So we have just one life and uh, you have to enjoy it as much as you can. So for me, enjoying life is traveling around the world, discover cultures and uh, never get bored, never. So well, if I have to answer what is my favorite country in the world, my top five at the end is Argentina, Bolivia, Namibia, okay, Tajikistan and Iran. <laughs> so that are my favorites at the end because I know for the culture, for the story, for the food, for the people, considering all, all, all of these, I can say, yes, this is They are my favorite ones. And I decided Vespa because Vespa for me is a kind of philosophy. It's not just a, a motorbike or a vehicle. It's just, it's uh, so slow and it's so funny. It's so friendly uh, scooter that uh, it's my best business card. Because when the people see me, always smile. And when the people smile, they open the door of uh, their house. So for me, Vespa is uh, a great vehicle to go around the world. And uh, especially if it's old like this, it's 52 years old. And uh, I can fix by myself, there is no electronic, it's really easy. And uh, you can find spare parts all around the world. My first time I entered in Iran, it was uh, on December. And I was so interested to discover this country. And uh, that was an amazing experience. After that, it was a little bit cold because it was in the middle of December, the middle of the winter. So I decided to spend three months in uh, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, uh, Dubai, that uh, it's a little bit more warmer than uh, Iran. And uh, when I came back at the beginning of March, uh, everybody told me in Dubai, don't go to Iran now because Corona is starting, is uh, growing up now. And I decided, no, I have to go. To Iran because uh, if I have to be stuck somewhere I prefer to be stuck in uh, Iran than uh, Dubai for example. I go back to Iran I prefer to be stuck there I don't know for how long how many months and that's it so from since March I am here now it's six months I have been uh, in Iran and I don't know when I can go out of Iran but to be honest I think one day when uh, the borders will open again inshallah i have to find an excuse to stay here again because I really love this place. Really, I really, I really love Iran, the people and the food. And uh, okay, it's part, it's cheap for me. I have to be honest, it's cheap Iran for, for a European standard. So I really, I mean, it's my paradise at the end here. If I have to say you a good experience in Iran, every day there is some good experience for me in Iran. And uh, especially I told you about the people, Iran is so, so friendly that sometimes I'm really embarrassed. embarrassed. I mean, uh, they are so friendly, they invite me in the house to have uh, lunch, to have dinner with them. 
for sure when you travel there are not only good memories because every day can be the worst one of the best one of your life and you never know what will be happen to you during the day so for sure i had bad bad experience here traveling and uh, consider that i am alone so i have to figure out alone and sometimes for example when i fall down uh, and I, uh, I don't know, injured by myself, I was in the middle of nowhere. Or sometimes you have to cross the desert for days and days at 50 degrees, at 60 kilometers per hour. It's very, such a long experience there. And, but to be honest, I never had at the moment problems with uh, people. I, maybe I was lucky or maybe the world is much better than uh, television, the media show has. I think here the people in Iran is one of the most friendly people in the world so really I cannot say anything wrong about Iran because uh, after six months I've been here I really love this uh, this this country day by day I, I always thinking now that Iran is not a, a country it's a dream for me at the end so please if you have the chance to come to Iran it's very safe and the people is super friendly so why don't come at the end